Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. For today's lesson, we will focus on rhyme time. So let's get started. Materials. The only materials you need for our lesson today is just your thinking cap. So let's get our brains ready. We have two learning targets today. Our first target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters A, T, H, P, C, N, M, R, V, and S. And the second target says, I can identify and produce words that rhyme. Sounds. Let's practice all of the letters that we've learned so far. Let's practice with our letter sound chant. We'll start with the letter A. Repeat them after me. A, A, alligator. T, T, turn. H, H house. P, P, parrot. C, C, cat. N, N, Newt. M, M, Mountain. R, R, Rabbit. S, S, Snake. V, V, Vulture. Awesome. Get ready to sing with me. Now it's rhyme time, now it's rhyme time. Hear the sounds, hear the sounds. Listen for the pattern, listen for the pattern. At the end, at the end. Sounds. We're going to explore some sounds in our poem again today. But before we do that, we're going to play a little game. I am going to say the name of two objects and show you the picture. And we're going to figure out how do these two objects go together. Are you ready? Here's my first picture. Sat, pat. How do these two words go together? Yes. They rhyme. They both have the same ending sounds. What sound do we hear that they both have? Yes, they both have the a ah and the t sound, which makes the pattern at. They both have the at pattern at the end of their words. Yes, let's try another one. Here are my next two words. Nap, map. How do these two words go together? Yes, they rhyme. They have the same ending sound. What are the two sounds you hear in these words? Right, they both have the a ah and the p sound. They have the app pattern at the end of their words. Right. Ready for another one? Here are my next words. Tall and ball. How do these two words go together? Yes, they rhyme. They have the all sound at the end of their words. Nice job with our rhyming words. Read aloud. Our poem, Victor the Sleepy Vulture, has some rhyming words too. Listen as I read the poem and see if you can hear any rhyming words in the poem. Ready? Victor the Sleepy Vulture sat in a very tall tree. 
enjoying the view and all he could see. He spotted a slithery snake down on the ground. He flew down to see if any food could be found. The slithery snake left in a snap. Victor sighed and said, it's time for my nap. Wow, I heard some rhymy words. I'm going to read the poem a second time. And this time, as I read through, if you hear any rhyming words, I want you to stand up and jump anytime you hear a rhyming word. Ready? Get ready to move. Victor, the sleepy vulture, sat in a very tall tree, enjoying the view and all he could see. He spotted a slithery snake down on the ground. He flew down to see if any food could be found. The slithery snake left in a snap. Victor sighed and said, it's time for my nap. Wow, you jumped a lot of times. I'm going to read through the poem one more time. And let's see if we can see all of the rhyming words in our poem. Get ready to listen again. Victor, the sleepy vulture, sat in a very tall tree, enjoying the view and all he could see. He spotted a slithery snake down on the ground. He flew down to see if any food could be found. The slithery snake left in a snap. Victor sighed and said, it's time for my nap. Nice work with all the rhyming words. Closing reflection. What do we hear that is the same in rhyming words? Yes, words that rhyme have the same ending sounds. How might knowing rhyming words help us with reading or writing? Nice work. Great job rhyming. Listen for words around you today that sound the same at the end. Thank you for joining me today and helping find all of the rhyming words in our poem. I hope you learned a lot and I will see you next time. Bye.